Hi everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you guys chapter 7 and section 7.2 uh, which is vectors in 3 space. So the vectors in 3 space, um, they, they have three components like x component, y component and z component. Like the vectors in two spaces, we only had x and y component. So the dis difference between two space and three space is that we're going to have a z component here. So the vector is going to look like, for example, 2, 6, so we have three components here and you can also write this as 2i hat plus 6g hat plus 4k hat so i hat represents the x component g hat represents the y component and k hat represents the z component so what is the graphical representation of vectors in three space so it is like y z and this is my x plane and this is the origin so the region between x y it's it's called the x y plane and the y z it's called the y z plane and x z it's called the x z plane okay so given a vector we can know what plane it lies on so for example if i have a, a vector 4 9 0 so uh, i have the x component and y component but the z component is 0 so that means that uh, this this vector is on x y plane so like similarly if we have only x y and z so here the y component is missing so this one is uh, this vector is only on x z plane and this one uh, here we are missing the x component y z we're missing the x component so this one lies on the y z okay now moving on to the addition and subtraction of vectors in three spaces so just like we did the addition and subtractions of vectors in in two spaces we're gonna do the same thing it's just that the z components get added gets added in this one so for example we we're given a vector x1 y1 z1 and we're given another vector x2, y2, z2. So how are you going to do a plus b? We're just going to do x1 plus x2, y1 plus y2, and z1 plus z2. Now, just for the sake of practice, let's do an example. 5, 1, 8, we're given two vectors, A and B, and we're going to be finding A plus B and A minus B. So let's do A plus B. So this is 5, negative 3, 1 plus 8. 8 minus 7, which gives 2, 9, 1. Now, the subtraction of vectors, we're going to do A minus B. So, A minus B. Don't forget the negative. It's very important. Now, 5, negative, negative 3, 1, minus 8, and 8 minus minus 7, now which gives 8, negative 7, 15. Now this is my answer to A minus B, and this is my answer to A plus B. Okay, now let's do an example from the book. So we're given our given two vectors p1 and p2 p1 we have 4 6 negative 2 and p2 we have 1 8 3 and we have to find the uh, the vector going from p1 to p2 so how do we find that so to find the vector from p1 to p2 remember this is very important you have to do p2 minus p1 so you're just going to do, if it's P1 minus P2, so you're just going to do the inverse, P2 minus P1. So you're going to do, what's 
our vector P2, it's 183. We're going to do minus 4, 6, negative 2. Now, the vectors we have is 1, um, 1 minus 4, and 8 minus 6, and 3 minus minus 2, which gives us negative 3, 2, and 5. Now moving on to the unit vector in three space. How do we find the unit vector in three space? Do you guys remember the formula I gave you in the previous video to find the unit vector? It's u over the given vector. Mm, sorry, okay, over the given vector and over the magnitude of it. So how do we find the magnitude in three space? So it's similar to two space, which is gonna add in the z component. So x squared plus y squared plus z squared and square root of it. So in this case, we have negative two squared, three squared, plus six squared, and square root of it, which gives square root of 49, which is seven. Now we have the uh, the norm of the vector. So to find the unit vector, we do um, do the we place the vector itself over the norm of it, which gives us negative two over seven, three over seven, and six over seven. Now this is our final answer. This is my unit vector in three space. Thanks for watching.